let us solve a question on degree of homogeneity uh, the question is like this maximize your u is equal to x to the power alpha y to the power beta this is our utility function alpha beta are greater than zero subject to the budget constraint that is price of good x into units of good x plus price of good y into units of y should be equal to m where m is the budget of the consumer we have to derive the demand functions bar good x and y and we have to show that the demand functions are homogeneous of degree zero in price and income by uh, what is meant by homogeneous of degree zero it simply means if price and income okay let us denote it by m are increased uh, let us say by a factor lambda okay then demand function does not change does not change okay i am giving you another example let us say if price and income are doubled by homogeneity of degree zero means if price and income are doubled quantity demanded will remain same okay there is no change in the quantity demanded if we double the price and income or uh, if we uh, increase both price and income by a factor lambda uh, demand function does not increase or decrease this is meant by degree of homogeneity of zero obviously okay let us say if price was uh, to give a specific example let us say price is 2 income is 10 okay let us say quantity demanded was originally let us say any number let us say 5 okay if prices are increased or doubled let us say price gets doubled to 4 uh, income gets doubled to 20 okay so these both get doubled if our quantity remained same again for you okay in this case we say our demand function will be homogeneous of degree 0 okay so i am just giving you the idea what will mean by homogeneity of degree zero now let's come to the question so let's first derive the demand function for good x and y how do we find we have them we have to maximize this utility function given the budget constraint we use first order condition for uh, optimization okay optimization requires marginal rate of substitution between two goods should be equal to the ratio of their prices okay graphically simple step if this is our budget line this is our indifference curve okay that means at this point we will get the optimal points of x and y uh, x and y which are our demand functions for x and y so at this point our modern rate of substitution that means the slope of iso uh, indifference curve should be tangent to the uh, slope of budget line okay so marginal rate of substitution between x y minus marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y should be equal to price of x upon price of y marginal utility of x means taking derivative of this utility function with respect to x okay so this alpha becomes coefficient we get alpha x to the power alpha minus one we have y to the power beta i have explained it in so many videos Similarly, uh, marginal utility of y means taking derivative of this utility function with respect to y. So, y to the power beta, this beta becomes coefficient x as it is alpha y to the power this exponent is subtracted by 1 beta minus 1 should be equal to price of x upon price of y here. Okay. Now, if we rearrange this stuff, we have alpha upon beta. Okay. We have y here y to the power beta if i transpose this term the exponent sign gets changed okay so we have y to the power beta so this becomes minus beta this is plus one okay similarly we have x to the power alpha here if i transpose this term to the denominator it will get multiplied to this term and the exponent sign will get changed so here we have uh, uh, this is alpha minus alpha plus one i have just skipped a step here okay i hope you know what i have done here py okay so for the sake of simplicity let me show you how did i get this we were given alpha upon beta uh, 
uh, x to the power alpha minus 1 y to the power beta uh, okay divided by beta here we have uh, x to the power alpha y to the power beta minus 1 I have done nothing wrong I have just transposed uh, this term to denominator and this term to numerator okay so if we have y to the power beta on the numerator when we transpose this term this y will remain same but exponent sign will get changes if it is minus beta it becomes plus if it is plus beta it becomes minus beta if it is minus one it becomes plus one okay so bases are same we can add up the exponents we get y is equal to uh, beta minus beta plus one okay so y beta and beta gets cancelled we only get y here okay so i have just used this similarly we can do for x so we will get here alpha upon beta into y upon so alpha alpha cancel beta beta cancel x is equal to price of x upon price of y okay solving for we will solve this for y that means y is equal to uh, we have alpha upon beta if we transpose this becomes beta upon alpha okay then we have price of x upon price of y and this will get multiplied here now just plug this value into the budget constraint and the value of y okay the value of y here so we get price of x into x plus price of y into the value of y is beta upon alpha price of x upon price of y into x should be equal to our income py py gets cancelled we are left with px into x uh, plus beta px into x upon alpha is equal to m okay taking px x px x common px x into x so we are left with one plus beta upon alpha here is equal to m or px into x alpha into this becomes alpha plus beta upon alpha is equal to m or x is equal to if i transpose this it will become uh, we have m here if i transpose this will become alpha upon alpha plus beta okay and if i transpose this x uh, uh, this px it will get multiplied here sorry it will get divided here so let me write it here px okay i hope you know how did i made this calculation here so this is the demand fun function for x so x is equal to m upon px and we have alpha alpha plus beta this is the demand function for x now we need to find similarly we can find out uh, the demand function for y so that will be simply y will be equal to m i will not show here it will get lengthy here py okay in place of alpha we will have beta upon alpha plus beta okay to get this very step just plug this value again in this uh, budget constraint you will get the optimal value of y is this stuff okay so this is demand function for x this is demand function for y now we need to prove that the demand functions are homogeneous of degree zero in price and income okay so let's take this very uh, demand function now to prove that they are homogeneous of degree zero in price and income let us uh, let us write it here like this let income and price of x are increased increased by a factor lambda or multiplied by a factor lambda okay then our new demand function will become so this becomes lambda times x to the power so x this is equal to so if m and px are multiplied by a factor lambda then we have m in place of m we have lambda m upon in place of px we have lambda px alpha upon alpha plus beta it will remain same okay so this will become 
we can do one thing either we will just uh, subtract these two sorry we will cancel them out or we can write it like this it will become lambda 1 minus 1 if i transpose this uh, to the numerator the exponent sign will get changed so we will be left with p to the power this px upon alpha upon alpha plus beta okay so this is lambda to the power 0 and this stuff is again our this lambda x uh, this demand function x to the power which is equal to so anything raised power 0 is equal to 1 x to the power 0 okay simple stuff when we uh, multiplied income and price by a factor lambda okay they got cancelled here we are left with original demand function that means when we uh, double the income and price quantity demanded will not change okay so by homogeneity of degree zero in price and income simply means uh, if we double income and price quantity demanded will remain same so in place of lambda you can have let us say price is in uh, we have here two here we have also two so if we double the income double the price you can see two and two will get cancelled we are left with again with the same demand function okay so this is meant by homogeneous of degree zero in price and income similarly you can do this stuff for uh, this very function also so the demand function for second so let's try to uh, show it here so demand for y was m upon py into alpha sorry we have beta if you calculate you will get beta upon alpha plus beta okay if income and price of good y are increased by a factor lambda then new demand will be let us write it in capital words will become lambda uh, times y star is equal to so if we multiply these two this becomes lambda times m lambda times py into beta upon alpha plus beta lambda lambda will get cancelled so y will be equal to uh, so lambda times zero y star okay so this is our y star originally uh, if we uh, cancel these so lambda anything is power zero is one so we are again left with the original demand function okay doubling the price and income in this case remains uh, uh doubling the price and income does not change our demand okay this is meant by degree of zero if we have degree of one if, uh, in case in that case doubling the price would have also increased our demand function okay by a factor two but that is not case here i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you